Nearly a year after Kelsey Barrett disappeared, seven women and five men are set to decide the fate of her fiance, Patrick Frazee. Prosecutors called Frazee a cold, calculating, manipulative killer who never testified on his own behalf. The star witness against Frazee was his secret girlfriend, an Idaho nurse named Crystal Lee. She told authorities Frazee tried to get her to kill Barrett three different times, and when she didn't, he did. Lee testified that Frazee told her he beat his fiance to death with a baseball bat on Thanksgiving Day and that Barrett's last words were, please stop. After the murder, Lee says Frazee called her and said she had a mess to clean up. Lee claims she drove from Idaho to Colorado and cleaned up the crime scene because Frazee told her to and she feared for her life. Lee has also admitted she destroyed Barrett's cell phone, her keys, and a gun, all to help Frazee cover his tracks. In exchange for her testimony, Lee agreed to plead guilty to evidence tampering. A few days after Thanksgiving, Lee says she watched as Frazee burned a black tote box that he told her contained Barrett's body and the baseball bat. Barrett's body has never been found. Last week, a former fellow prisoner testified how he received 16 notes from Frazee with instructions to kill several of the witnesses testifying against him, including Lee and Barrett's mother. He said Frazee wrote, they all need to disappear unseen until after the trial. Closing arguments will begin tomorrow morning. If convicted, Patrick Frazee faces life in prison. Crystal Lee will be sentenced after Frazee's case wraps up and she faces a maximum of three years in prison. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Cripple Creek, Colorado.